New into stock, we've got a really lovely example of this uh, Jaguar XF 2.2 TD Premium Luxury. It's 2012 on a 12 plate, full Jaguar service history and one owner from new. It's done 29,236, last serviced about 4,000 miles ago, but we'll service it again before it goes out and we will be uh, doing a 12 months MOT on it this week. Fuel economy, urban is 42.8, extra urban 58.9, Combined 52.3 and uh, a 0 to 60 time of 8.5 seconds. Top speed of 140 miles per hour out of 188 brake horsepower, 16 valve engine. Six months road tax, £85.25 and 12 months is uh, £155. The finance example on our website is uh, £1,249.50 deposit followed by 60 payments of £243.99. But you can, if you go on our website, ggcars.co.uk, you can change the deposit and you can change the term and you can also apply online for finance it if, if that's what you want. I'll just show you around the car. So we've got Xenons, we've got high pressure headlamp wash, beautiful chrome Jaguar grille here, the, the mesh grille and the, the chrome insets and also uh, front parking sensors. Multi-spoke alloy wheels, chrome Jaguar there. We've got power folding door mirrors, tinted windows. You can see here the little black button on here. That's keyless entry and keyless go. So long as you've got the uh, key on your, your person, uh, you, you can lock it. And when you come back to the car, just press the button and it'll open again. Got the chrome window surrounds. Chrome boost handle. Electric boot release under there. You've got reversing sensors in the back bumper and you've also got the reversing uh, camera there that you can see on the display in the front. Plenty of room in the boot. The back seats fold down. There's two little yellow handles up here that you pull uh, and that allows you to drop the back seat 60-40 so there's a load through area really luxurious in the back here got this lovely walnut uh, wood inset on the the doors here a double stitching brown at the top and the the cream or beige which, however you describe it at, at the back rear central armrest here with cup holders it's also a, a very safe environment too you've got airbag in the b pillar airbag in the c pillar you've got the isofix child seat anchor points uh, along the bottom here and also along the top there with plastic covers that you can just you know pull off it's it's really nice it, it's like new it's got carpet over mats which have been in it since new and uh it, the, the car is just lovely Great to be a passenger in, in Jaguars, very, very comfortable indeed. And, and the, the finish on them is, is second to none. In, in my opinion, better than BMs and, and better than Mercedes-Benz, certainly. I'll just take you for a ride in it. Car's got keyless entry and keyless ignition. That's the Jaguar key, which we have two of. So as long as you've got it in your pocket, open the door outside, you can lock it when you get out, and there's a, a start button there. It's the, uh, the Jaguar vents, which are a work of art really. So we've got sat nav, it's finished in um, uh, pale silver blue metallic lovely color absolutely beautiful and this uh, I don't know how you describe it beige cream caramel there's probably a really fancy name for it but it's it's just a lovely car this the seats are so comfortable um, it's uh, I could sit in this all day now it's one owner it's got full Jaguar service history and something I always like to see is the chap still got the brochure from when he bought it. It's always a good sign. If you get a car and the owner's still got the brochure, you know it's going to be. It should be the first question on on your uh, your sales pitch. Do you still have the brochure? And uh, 
and you, you don't need to go any further you know it's going to be a fantastic car with a full service history uh, having said that I'll just show you the service history here um, 4437 miles on the 22nd of the 4th 2013 at Apple Yard Jaguar and then 8528 at uh, Hillendale Jaguar 16th 4th 2014 then Farnell Jaguar serviced it at 13,071 miles on the 13th of the 4th 2015 but didn't stamp the book um, it's so important the most important job in the service department is the guy who stamps the service book and they always give it to some idiot for want of a better word now fortunately the chap has kept all his invoices we've redacted the names and address and, and so like we're required to do these days but it was serviced that's the invoice number on it the invoice is here and it's got a full Jaguar service without that it didn't have um, and would wipe value off the car no doubt so 12th of the 4th 2016 16,905 miles final Jaguar serviced it there and remembered to stamp it and then they've started writing on that side as well uh, whoever that is I don't know what that was for but um, it was wrong anyway then 14th of the 4th 2018 at 25,067 miles done by Farnell Jaguar again and again they managed to stamp it which uh, which is excellent and the car's done 29,330 miles now as I said before we're going to service it again it's only done 4,000 miles but we're, we're going to do it anyway and we'll also MOT it um, I'll just take you for a drive rotary gear selector which I like makes it all nice light and airy in, in the, the cabin and no gear stick imposing uh, I personally like it a lot of people don't but that comes up out of the gear tunnel when you, you start up as well so here we go we've got a reversing camera there and then into drive and you've got drive and sport and we've also got paddle shift but the, these cars I, I wouldn't say they're a particularly fantastic driver's car unless you get something like a five litre but to drive around in they're, they're fantastic um, they, they're just so luxurious and quiet everything's easy um, great to be a passenger in it's uh, just just a great car and, and I I've always liked Jags so uh, I'm, I'm a little bit biased the thing with Jags the interior the leather always looks like leather the wood veneer always looks like proper wood looks like somebody spent a decade polishing it before they fitted it to your Jag nice stitching just get a wiggle on there as we come around here see if this lorry will pull out in front of us yeah and he's obliged thanks Eddie got a job to do and we're past him so multifunction steering wheel as I say here you got minus and plus change up and down the volume controls the voice recognition there we've got mode oops turn that off quick for you YouTube give me a copyright strike so uh, you can change the uh, stations on the radio on, and between Bluetooth uh, audio streaming and CD and so on and we've got cruise control on the right hand side here indicators on the left that's the trip counter little information display in the center just showing us the fuel lights come on and range 44 miles average fuel average speed great brakes brakes in a nice straight line no 
vibrations or shudders through the wheels or brakes or pedal. Seamless gear change. I'll, uh, when we set off, I'll, I'll count it off because apart from the engine, no, you'd never notice. We've got electric window switches here, the power folding door mirror switch there, and also electric, which I'll just, actually, I'll just move over there and uh, knock that to the left mirror. Yep, that's working fine. Right mirror. That's good. All the windows working fine. I've already tested the headlamp wash. I'm onto myself getting into this inside lane here. Still no hurry today. Nice Range Rover just probably about to go past and uh, I think he was trying to do Morse code, yep, still at it. That's probably Morse code for him. I'm a shit driver and I've got my foot on the brake. Just let this Range Rover go by. Um, got to... Now that should be on a Renault, that registration number. But I guess being from around here, it's uh, all PNE, Preston North End number plate. A massive gap behind me, but he had to pull about five foot in front of me. Sat nav here. There you go. Navigation, you've just got to agree that you're not going to get distracted. And uh, there you go, quite a, a nice and easy sat-nav system. Um, I'll, uh, I'll show you how to set it later and how to pay your mobile. It's also got hands-free audio streaming. Got a heated front screen as well, which is a, a great addition to any car. Front armrest in the front armrest, which not all of them get. It's the iPod connector and the USB and also a power socket. Busy roundabout today. So we've got front and rear parking sensors too. Electric boot release, remote boot release from the key there. Oops, sorry, that way. Also got electric memory seats. It's two memories for the driver's seat. So, uh, it, <laughs> I don't know why, but whenever you press the switch in a Jaguar, the, the drivers seem to be Yeah, like 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 so. Very very careful drivers, Jaguar drivers. Let's see where position two takes us. Uh, that that must be the misses. I I get a lot of comments about my driving position. But I, how could you how could you drive really that close to the steering wheel? 
you're supposed to be at least 10 inches away because of the airbag <laughs> that's anyway let's let's get back ah that's better also got these checker plate insets to the dash and the door cards but this what, what the walnut in the in jags it really really does look good very very well finished i've got to say i, I do love them and it's so comfortable to drive i forgot to do the gear changes i'll, I'll do it in a short while still not far enough back here They're just a joy to drive. slow down around the corner and we'll do the gear changes you can also knock it over to sport again I've just cocked myself up here and, and everybody else the level crossing came down be in trouble right so we're set off Second, third, fourth. I can't, I can't even tell when it's changed, it's that good. You just press down and put it into sport. You see there the, the revs increase. It's the throttle more sensitive, holds it in gear longer. So we'll put it back in there, and as I say, if you click here, knock that down. It's a eight speed box. Just stayed in third there. Plenty of room for three passengers in the back. Um, so very, very nice and comfortable. Nice and light inside. Uh, it does help with this colour interior. Nice contrast as well, kind of the, the chocolate or cocoa at the top there. So I'm, I'm still trying to decide what colour you would call this. Sand. I think it was called sand. I could be wrong. van driving very close to me I've got a good mind just to tap the brake with my left foot actually I just check the cruise control works yeah it's working there so you just flick that thumb wheel forward then you can reduce your speed or increase it by pressing up or down last Jaguar we had in um, I did the video 
set it to upload to YouTube, went to bed and we had a call on it in the morning. A chap had been looking for the exact same model and had been watching my YouTube videos for a while and, uh, and came and bought it. So hopefully this one will go just as fast. It's certainly just as nice a car. Looks like we've got a queue at the garage. <laughs> 